Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson two, identifying one more and one less than a number and graphing data on a graph. So yesterday we practiced finding numbers on a hundreds number chart. Okay, so we're gonna now learn how to find numbers above, below, to the right and to the left of the numbers on a number chart. Okay, so let's find the number 52. Okay, so I go to the rows that has the fives and we find 52. All right, so what number is just above 52? So above means we go up. So the number above 52 is 42. What number is below 52? Well, below would be going down, so the number below would be 62. Okay, what number is to the right of 52? Well, right goes to this side, so that's 53. And the number to the left is 51. Okay. All right, what about 38? So let's find 38, and it's right here. Okay, so what number is above the 38? Okay, well that's 28. Oops. The number below 38 is 48. To the right, is 39 and to the left is 37. All right, we're going to read the numbers from 31 to 40. And we're going to count as we go. So if you notice, if I go 31, 32, you see that I'm moving to the right. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I was moving to the right as I count up. Okay, so if I go to 46 and I want to go count up, I would move to the right to 47. Okay, all right, so let's read the numbers from 80 to 71. Okay, so starting with 80, we're going to go to 71. And notice we're going to the left. So we go 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71. So as I count down, I move to the left on my chart. Okay, so if I go to 69, what is one spot to the left? Well, that'd be 68. Okay, all right. So who wants to help me find one more than 93? Think you can find it? All right, so first I'm gonna find 93. And I want one more, so I'm going to have to move to the right one spot. So that's going to be 94. What about one less than 21? So if I go one less than 21, I have to move to the left. But since there's no number here, I'm going to have to go to the next row. So one less than 21 is 20. Okay, what's one more than 32? Well, I have 32, and I want one more, so I go up to 33. All right, and that's how we use our numbers chart. All right. So we're going to work on an activity here. So you see this graph at the bottom, it's got all the months of the year and it says our birthdays. So we want to mark what months we have birthdays in. So let's just say that there are three people born in January. So I would fill in three boxes for January. Okay, let's say that only one person is born in February. So I'd fill in one box for February. Maybe two people are born in March. So I'd fill in one, two boxes. Okay, April, let's say there's five in April. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's say that no one was born in May. So we're gonna skip over May and go to June. Okay, let's say there are three people born in June. So one, two, three, we fill it in. July, let's say six people were born in July. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I fill it in. One person born in August. Okay, let's say seven were born in September. Okay, so we go all the way up. 
All right, so this is how you make what's called a bar graph, okay? And we call it a bar graph because we form these bars when we fill in the boxes. All right, so the last part is almost every day you'll have a practice sheet at the end of the math lesson. So just you'll look up at the top of the math sheet and there's a side A and B. So we'll do side A in class and side B is going to be your homework. Okay. So if you have any questions, um, you can ask your parents or you can ask uh, your teacher. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.